What if I told you that ends are the most subhuman race on earth? What if I told you that right-wingers pride themselves on f***ing their sisters? Here's a scenario. If racism was a gas station where you can refuel your racism, right-wingers would be the primary customers there. They have no other way to express their rhetoric. Their fundamentals are literally marinated in racism. Racism sustains these people. They literally can't stand the fact that other races have the same rights they do. So they go to Reddit and make dumbass memes anonymously because they wouldn't dare say this shit in public. Why is this okay, but this isn't? My god, you righties really have no idea what BLM truly stands for. See, white lives always mattered. It's just blatant as in the United States. It's super obvious. Black Lives Matter is an organization that is saying black lives also matter. With systemic racism having a tight grip of the fundamental core of this country, Black Lives Matter fights to end that. When you all say all lives matter, we don't disagree with you on the left. We just know what your true intentions are when it comes to that term. All lives matter is white lives matter. These two nitwits just chose to go blatant. We built the pyramids. You people can't even maintain clean water in Jackson, Mississippi. See, I don't even want to comment on this because why bother? You lowlife racists wouldn't understand this if it was in front of your face which i'm about to do put it in front of your face this is due to something called environmental racism which is within systemic racism poor communities where black indigenous and hispanic people live the infrastructure there has never been replaced because mississippi doesn't give a f about those people they aren't people in their eyes so why bother that's how these people think. And that is why sewer water was coming through their pipes. But I'll keep saying this in every single video. Right-wingers don't care. They don't even believe systemic racism is real. And I bet that they're sitting on their phone or their computer right now screaming this He is my apology for being white. Calm down, Cletus. Your sister's almost home from the social security office. Relax. We're not saying black lives don't matter. We're just saying they mattered more when they were property. My wife and I just recently rewatched all of George Carlin's stand up, and I gotta tell you guys, this man was so ahead of his time. And he was absolutely correct when he said that right wingers only care about property, leftists, liberals care about human beings. It's simple as that. You know the difference between, that I define the difference between right wing and left wing? People to the right of center. Well, let's start with the people to the left. People to the left of center, liberals, Democrats, populists, they're interested in people, human beings and human values. People to the right of the line, Republicans and rich people and, and, um, and right wingers, they're interested in property, property, not people. And they're, they're soulless. They're, they're, they're without soul. They don't really care. They don't really care. They don't, these Christians don't do Jesus' work, which is to feed the poor and take care of the ones who can't help themselves. That's what their Jesus said. Feed those who have no way. To take ones who have to have nothing to going for them. Help them in my name. So you're against immigration. Hey, uh, hoy, hey, hey, hey. What? Oh my God. Bro, these lunatics aren't even subtle anymore. But, okay. I'm just gonna leave this statement right here. Racist white people are responsible for almost exterminating 95% of indigenous people here in America. You were saying? Black mermaids. Sudden increase in underwater crime. I'm gonna take a wild guess here and say that all the white mermaids are wearing red hats and all lives matter shirts down there, huh? I wonder if they're still protesting in front of the male gulf pipefish facility. If you get it, leave it in the comment section. Libs. All lives matter is racist. Kanye. Fine. White lives matter. Libs. Oh my god, that's exclusionary. All lives matter. Kanye. Checkmate. No liberal talks like that, first off. And second, Kanye West, or excuse me, Ye, just checkmated himself a couple weeks ago. I could say anti-Semitic things and Adidas can't drop me. Now what? Now what? Adidas confirming it is ending its lucrative partnership with Kanye West. <sighs> Boy. That escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. Children's book in America versus China. See friends, right-wingers make memes about things that they don't even understand. I will bet my whole bank account, which isn't much, but regardless, I will bet my whole sh that the person that made this meme 
didn't even read the anti-racist baby. Because I know you didn't read the Chinese book. You can't read Chinese. You can hardly read English. But the children's book Anti-Racist Baby was conceived as a tool for discussing racism with young children. The book proposes nine steps for discussing racism with the ultimate goal of teaching children to be anti-racist. The book states that Anti-Racist Baby is bred, not born. If I ever had children, my kids would be reading this book. 100%. Lizzo twerks while playing 200-year-old flute owned by 4th US President James Madison. So Lizzo was allowed to play a 200-year-old crystal flute that belonged to the 4th President of the United States. James Madison was one of our founding fathers. How dare the Democrat-led Library of Congress allow Lizzo to disrespect him like that? This is unbelievable. Oh, no, 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 no. This is hilarious. A black woman playing this flute and seeing the right wing side completely lose their sh is one of my favorite things on the internet that I've seen in a while. Yes, please keep playing the flute of a man that owned more than 100 enslaved men, women, and children. Keep playing that flute. And a man that endorsed the three-fifths compromise, where black people were considered three-fifths of a person. So, you know, they don't have to pay too much taxes on them. So am I glad that she played the flute? Absolutely. She should have played it with her ass That would have been even better. Come travel with me into the utopia of contradictions right here, my friends. And if you can, please support the channel on Patreon. I will leave that link right here and in the description below. Come talk politics with us in our private Discord. I hope to see you there. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below and subscribe if you haven't already for weekly leftist videos. And I am out.